Bay Area business is celebrating its 50th anniversary, creating some of the world's most beautiful books. Now, this company is something of a standout, since most commercial printing houses have long since closed. Our Itai Hod takes us to what's called a fine press shop for a look at the art of creating books. Nestled in San Francisco's Presidio is a place where the clang of century-old machinery tells a tale of a different time. There's a sense of honor in carrying forward a craft that is one of the few ideal technologies that has ever been invented. Blake Riley is the creative director of Aryan Press, the last printing company in the country where books are crafted entirely by hand from beginning to end. Our interest is in really kind of excavating and uncovering um, not just the text, but the story behind the text. Blake and his team produce only three titles a year, each with a limited run of about 300 copies. These meticulously designed books take months to make and sell for up to $10,000. The result, museum quality books bound to make an impression. Ultimately, we came up with this idea. For example, this Edgar Allan Poe collection includes a cover created by artisan John Sullivan that features a bust of the author made out of crushed bricks from his actual home. Woodworker Jonathan Enzalone created a box for Sea of Cortez made from the boat John Steinbeck sailed in. Today, Blake is putting the final touches on Octavia Butler's 1979 classic Kindred with artwork from renowned sculptor Alison Saar. Priced at $1,300, their clientele includes libraries, museums, this is gorgeous, and collectors like Melinda Hightower, a banker from San Francisco who recently joined Arian's board of directors. Some people are going to look at this and they're going to think $1,300 for a book. See, I think that's certainly a fair reaction, but I don't think of it that way. I think of it as 5,000 hours per book. Blake says the enduring demand of hand-printed books speaks volumes. That kind of, you know, tactile experience um, is something I think people are, you know, are just hardwired to search out. And he'll be the first to tell you that sometimes it's perfectly fine to judge a book by its cover. Very clever, Itai. Now, Itai tells us the next project is Aesop's Fables, and you can enter for a chance to buy one of the limited copies on their website.